Hey, what's going on guys? So I know it's been a while since I did a video and um, I wanted to just kind of check in with you. I did just release a Mernstack e-commerce course and after I talk a little bit about, you know, what's going on and stuff, I'm going to show you a demo of the project in the course, which is taken directly from the course. So as far as, um, you know, I've, I've been getting a lot of questions about my health and stuff from, from comments in the, in the, you know, in the YouTube videos and Twitter and Instagram. And my health has been better. It's been, I would say maybe 30% better than it had, than it was, uh, you know, about two months ago. And I'm not, I'm not exactly sure why. I think that it's a combination of a few different things. Um, for one, I'm on a new medication for migraines, which seems to be helping. Um, I've been doing physical therapy for my neck, so things like uh, the TENS device, electrostimulation, exercise, massage, that stuff has really been helping, you know, the stiffness and the, the pressure and the pain in the back of my neck. Uh, I've also been eating a lot better. I've been eating gluten-free, which was recommended to me by uh, a homeopathic doctor. So I, ultimately I feel, you know, 25 to 30% better. I still have some really bad days where I'm really dizzy and really off balance. But uh, for the most part, I've been able to really to, to work, you know, before I could, I worked maybe an hour staring at a screen and then I had to stop because I got so dizzy and I got a lot of head pressure. So what I've been doing recently uh, after, you know, I took a, maybe 35 days off of coding whatsoever, no coding, no videos, nothing. And then I started on this Mernstack course, which is, uh, you know, it's, a, it's probably the largest project that I've done in a course. And what was nice is that taking the break from YouTube, it allowed me to really just focus on this one project, which is something that I've missed for, you know, the past few years, because when you do YouTube, and courses you have to stop and, and and take like two or three days to think of a YouTube video, do research, create a project, record, edit, all that stuff, upload, and then you come back to the course and you're like, you're in a different state of mind. The YouTube video might have been a whole different language. So it was nice to just get up in the morning and have this one thing to focus on. And it kind of brought me back to doing just regular dev work because you don't just jump from technology to technology when you're doing that. You have this one big project you're working on for a while and you stick with that. And that, that was kind of nice. And that kind of got me back into the groove of coding. Um, when I came back from that 35 days, I was just, my mind felt felt shot like I I, I was so um, just lost like I opened the text editor and I attempted to just build a little react app and uh, I don't know it was weird but it only lasted for like a day or two that that brain fog uh, it actually got me scared I thought it was it might have been the medication that I was on the new meds but um, I was able to you know everything came back it's it's like riding a bike you just have to get used to it after you take a little while off even just taking like four or five days off when you come back it's like you you know your brain feels like it's like it's in a fog but uh i think doing this course really helped that issue and uh it helped me just get a little bit of that ambition back that motivation for coding so as far as youtube goes as soon as this course is released i'm gonna start to work on youtube projects um, i hope you guys have been liking the guest videos i have noticed the views have gone down quite a bit um, and I think that's just because it's so diverse now. There's there's different different types of personalities. There's different technologies. You know, you have JavaScript. We did Ruby on Rails, C++. Um, so there's a lot of different technologies. And I understand that not everybody is into all of that. Um, and I also understand from the comments that I got on that poll that I did that people subscribed for my tutorials. And... And I, I know how that feels to subscribe for one reason and then they go, the channel goes and changes things up. But try to understand that I was just in a bad place physically and mentally. Um, I was, I was, you know, I've had depression and anxiety since I was a, a young teenager, really. But it was getting really bad because of the physical stuff. It was, it was weighing on me and I just felt like crap every day. And also the whole COVID situation. I know a lot of people are having troubles. I don't want to sound like some kind of victim or something. Um, 
but that was weighing on me, the kids being home all the time, trying to record, this banging going on, and it was just very frustrated and very just down and out. So I, you know, I think that 35 days of no coding helped. I, I was able to go outside, spend more time with my family. Um, so now I'm just, I'm back at it. And I really appreciate the concern for the health issues and stuff. Um, I see that a lot. A lot of you guys have, have asked about the health stuff and uh, I'm, I'm genuinely just appreciative of that. But just know that I'm not, I'm not dying. I'm not like deathly ill or anything. I'm just, I go through vestibular migraines, which are very uncomfortable. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it can be tough to deal with, but I'm, I'm making it through and I'm going to get back on track. I, I plan on creating my own platform. In fact, I created this e-commerce course for the platform, but it's not going to be done until um, at least the beginning of next year. So I am uploading it to Udemy for now. But that's it, guys. I just wanted to kind of check in, let you know where I'm at. You should see a video from me within the next two weeks. And uh, also, if you want to check this course out, the link's in the description. And thank you for sticking around. All right, so I just wanna give you guys an overview of what we'll be building in this course. So we're gonna build this from absolute scratch. We're gonna deploy it to Heroku. And uh, I'm gonna leave the Redux dev tools open so you can see the actions that are fired off and you can see the state diff and all that stuff. And if you don't understand this, don't worry about it. We're gonna to get to Redux later. So on the homepage here, we have our nav bar. We can search products. We have a cart link to our shopping cart. We have a sign in register page. And right here we have a carousel where we're showing the top rated products and we can click on one of these. It takes us to the product page. And then down here we have the latest products and we have six total in the database. Now, if we have more than 10, then we're going to show our pagination links down here. You can see in our state where we get the products. We also get the number of pages, which is one and the page, which is one. So if pages is more than one, it'll show the, the links down here to go to the next page. So let's click on one of these and take a look at the product page. We have an image, title, description. We have the, the overall rating, so the, the average rating. The quantity, which pertains to the count in stock. So if we look at this in the state here, count in stock for this product is three, so we get an option of three. And then down here we have our reviews. And if you're logged in, you can see a, a form here to write a review. And of course you can only write one review per product. So I'm just going to pretend like I just came to the site and I'm going to buy this. So I'll add this to my cart. Immediately it shows it in my shopping cart. If I add something else. So this, this Alexa here is actually out of stock. So this is disabled. We can't add it. So I'll grab this mouse right here. Add to cart. Now if I change the quantity within the cart, you'll see that this will actually update over here the number of items and the price. And of course, our cart items are stored in local storage, so we can leave the page. We can even close the browser and come back and the products will still be here. So let's proceed to checkout. And this is as far as we can go without logging in. So I'm going to log in as John, which is just a regular customer account. And it'll take me right to the shipping page and you can see the steps up here. So sign in, shipping, payment and then place order. So I'm going to just put whatever in here and this the shipping address will also get saved to local storage so that if you come back uh, it'll be here so continue now for the payment method we're going to implement the PayPal API you can also use a debit or credit card and the way we're going to build it it's going to be scalable so you can add other payment methods if you want like if you want to add stripe or something like that in fact if I click continue you'll see over here it calls cart save pay method and we have payment method PayPal. So you could easily you know, swap that out for Stripe. You just have to implement Stripe's API. So here we have basically a summary of everything. So all of our items, the payment method, the, sh the shipping address, the price, including shipping and taxes. So we'll click place order. And what that did is it put an order in the database, but it's set to not paid. So there's going to be a flag is paid and that's set to false until we actually pay. Same thing with delivered. We can set an admin can set this to delivered as well. So to pay, we can use PayPal. You can also use a debit or credit card. And we're going to set up a, a fake sandbox account that we can use. So you can see sandbox.paypal. So we're not dealing with actual money right now. And it's going to log me in automatically as my fake John Doe account and these fake bank accounts. So I'll click pay now. 
and then once it processes this will reload and now you'll see paid on with the date and if we look at our order over here is paid is now set to true payment result we're storing in the database this is actually information from PayPal including like the PayPal email the the ID stuff like that so now this has been paid so if I go up here and I view my profile I can see that order in my profile I can see where it, when it's been paid I can see it's not been delivered or set out for delivered and I can view the details as well and then over here I can update my user data if I want okay so we can also leave reviews and we can only leave one review you can see I already left one here so if I try to put something in here it's going to tell me that I already reviewed this product okay now I want to log out here and log back in as an admin and when you're an admin you get this additional drop down item and we can see all of our users here so we have admin we have John and Jane Doe which are customers and I could edit their information I could set them to admin if I wanted to and then they would be able to you know have this functionality we can see all the products and I'll show you how to add a product in a second but if we go here we can see orders this is the order that John Doe just placed if I go to details as long as I'm an admin I'll see this mark is delivered and if I click that it's going to update the database and you can see is delivered is now set to true and then delivered at is set to whatever the date and time is so now the user can come in to this order page and see that it's been delivered or set for delivered and let's see so products let's go ahead and create a project product so as soon as I click this it's going to create it and bring me to the edit page with some sample data so I can then add in here I'll just say test product and for the price I'll say 10 and let's do 10 in stock and then for the image you can either manually put a link in here to an image a URL to an image or you can choose to upload so I'll just grab this Chrome logo so that gets uploaded and then we click update and there's our test product and if there's more than 10 it'll also have pagination here as well as you can see in the state it uses that same product list state so if we go back to the front page here and go down you'll see the test product and we have that product page here that we can add to the cart we can now purchase so we can obviously delete them as or edit them we can delete them okay so that clears that out and now it's gone and we can also search or filter so if I just put like IP that's going to narrow it down to um, to the iPhone if I clear this out and click search it just takes us to the home page so there's actually quite a bit of functionality here. I mean, it's no eBay, but we're building this from the ground up. We're not using, you know, WooCommerce or something like that. It's just create React app and then all custom code from there. No copying and pasting or anything like that. We do have some just sample products, some sample data that we'll load. We're going to build a database seeder so that we can seed the database with products and users. Uh, but that's about it. Everything else is hand coded and you're going to learn a lot in this course even if you already know react and you know the Mern stack I think you'll still have fun building this out so let's go ahead and get started